for the final exam, you do not have to show any renderings, but I am including them in the handout. So you have an idea of what you will be uh, drawing, what I'm looking for. Now, if you look at the handout, you'll see that there is the rubric and I'm looking for the site location and the sheet list, which is this, make it up site location. If you're uh, preparing for the final exam ahead of time, which makes sense, you will already have a site location and you will make your sheet list already. These are the sheets that I'm looking for. There's no renderings. So that would be something that you would want automatically or uh, previously made up before you enter the uh, uh, final exam. Door and window schedule, yes, you should have that on a sheet somewhere already made. As you create your project, the door and window schedule will populate automatically. So you wanna make sure that that's set up ahead of time. Then first floor plan. Well, I'm showing you the first floor plan and you'll want to duplicate that. Uh, you would wisely have something like this laid out to begin with. You'll have your garage, you'll have your house, and you'll have your house garage wall. These should all be stacked walls. And you'll simply look at my dimensions and modify your floor plan to match my dimensions. That's the objective of the uh, project. So then we have a basement plan. You know, if you're using a stack stacked walls, which you should, the basement's gonna be made automatically. You know, all you have to do is put the dimensions in. We're looking for a first floor plan, a second floor plan. The second floor plan will uh, look similar to this. And you'll want to uh, simply move your uh, walls around on the outside so that make sure that they match these dimensions. That's what I'm looking for. The walls on the inside have to be pretty close to uh, where I'm showing them and how I'm showing them. I want to see a vanity in a sink a tub and a toilet, tub, vanity, sink, toilet. You don't have to put in the uh, closet and hangers. You don't need to do that, but that's uh, just to show you what those rooms are. So we have one, two, three bedrooms. We have a stairway coming up and two baths. That's the second floor, okay? Let's see what else after that. A roof plan, all right? So you would want to have the roof plan already made. It won't fit your house, but you know that you can simply click on the roof and then in Revit say, edit the boundary uh, and you can change the roof plan to, to match your uh, floor plan. But I would suggest that you already have your roof plan drawn and then you simply need to modify it as opposed to create it from scratch. Then we have the four elevations, the uh, front, left, rear, and right. And you know from working with Revit that basically these make themselves. So I would suggest that you have all of your sheets already made, that you have your elevations for whatever preliminary work you've done. And then as you create the new uh, layout uh, by moving the walls, that the elevations will make themselves. Uh, and you want to have all four of the elevations. Let's go back to the rubric. What else am I looking for? Oh, and then five sections. So I think you would want to have your five sections made and placed on a sheet already. Now, the sections might not be exactly right, but they'll be possibly close because you are using the stacked walls that you created for the midterm. So if your stacked walls in the midterm are not correct, then you need to make them correct before the final exam starts. And these are the five sections. I lay them out in the floor plan. You can see one, two, three, going through the house horizontally. And then uh, four and five, I moved the bubbles down because they would be outside of the title block otherwise, but there's the other two. So let's set all of this up, be ready to go. And then maybe when you make your final elevations, uh, because you haven't laid it out properly on the sheet, you know, then you might need to move it left or right or up or down or whatever uh, slightly in order to fit on there. But the purpose of the 
final exam uh, is to duplicate what I'm sharing with you on, on the handout at exactly 12 o'clock on Friday. The, let's see here, what day would that be? The 17th. So you'll have three hours and 20 minutes to do that. Similarly to the midterm, if you know what you're doing, three hours and 20 minutes is plenty of time. If you don't know what you're doing, three weeks and uh, or three months and 20 days would not be enough. So this rubric is already on Blackboard for you to take a look at. You can see that and you can set your work up. Now, based upon your submission, which needs to be time stamped on or before 320 uh, next Friday, coming Friday, which is the 17th of May, uh, I will go through this rubric and I will say, if you did a very minimal job, I'll give you uh, minimal points. If you were competent with it, I will give you this uh, arrangement of points. And if you're proficient, in other words, if you did it properly and correctly to my expectations, then you will get these points. And then we'll, Blackboard will total will score up automatically for your final grade of your final exam. So I think I've explained it pretty well. Just like the midterm, you wanted to have your new project set up and ready to go. You could use your midterm uh, sheets. Make sure, of course, remember, no name, no credit. That's a very important thing right there. You don't have your name on it. Uh, I'm not giving you any credit. But generally, I say if your work is outside of the um, title block, you won't get any credit for it. And, there are, and these are the midterm stacked walls. Information about that. It's getting, this house is getting a little too big for this scale, but that's the scale I would like you to draw it at. So I might be a little bit lenient with your information being slightly outside of this inner line of the title block, but it still has to be inside of the title block there. That's the, uh, what the final project will be similar to. Make sure to tag all your doors and windows. Now notice you don't have to put any cabinets in. Don't require any cabinets whatsoever. Notice I'm not asking you to even label the rooms. I'm simply asking you to lay this. Oh, and no structure. Absolutely no structure. Or uh, finished floors or, or rough floors required in your submission. I want you to get be able to get the house laid out correctly. Get your stairs in so that they start at the correct level and finish at the correct level. Start at the correct level. Finish at the correct level. That's very important, too, that that, that, that happens. And, um, I think that's it. I will be available to assist in any technical questions that you have in terms of uh, clarification. If you need help in terms of uh, having trouble uh, um, executing something in, your, in the program, you're welcome to uh, phone a friend. Ask a fellow classmate. We will be on, on Zoom for the entire class. And uh, you can also go onto YouTube and see if YouTube will give you a, a, a quick video on how to do something that you're trying to do. But if you're having trouble doing something, I'm not the source for that help. I will not be the help, but anybody else is. If you have a question about, well, I can't read this dimension or what are we supposed to do here or there, I probably will be able to help you with that, but I'll watch you do something wrong and I'll just stay quiet uh, in terms of how you're supposed to make your stacked walls. They should already be made. And how you're supposed to lay the house out. They should, uh, the house should be preliminarily laid out already uh, in order to be able to do this final exam in three hours and 20 minutes. So I made this uh, video for you ahead of time so that you can take a look at uh, what you are being expected to do. Uh, you know how to move walls and put in dimensions and put in windows and doors and add interior walls and cut sections and put these this information on your sheets. Shouldn't have any problem. Uh, one thing though is these are the only sheets I want you to print. Don't print any extra. All through the class I said you can print 
the entire sheet set, whether there's information on it or not. But for the final exam, this is what I'm looking for. Uh, the five sections, four elevations, and the roof plan, second, first, basement plan. You definitely don't need to include the rubric in yours, but I put it in here because it's part of the sheet set. I also put the renderings in there, but that's not part of the sheet set requirement either. Uh, I only put the renderings in there to help you have an idea of, of what you're drawing. Let's see, where do they go to? There we go. To give you an idea of what the um, house looks like uh, that you're drawing, but you're not required to create any renderings or include any renderings in your uh, final exam. So I wish everybody the best of luck. Please, I hope you, well, I, if you hear my voice and see this video, you are watching it, but I hope you prepare ahead of time for the final exam.